Hey everybody, the new update for the Equinox 800 and 600 is out now. If you're not quite sure how to update your machine, stick around, I'll show you how. Hey everybody, Preacher Digger here. I just wanted to come to you and do a little quick video upon the new update that MindLab came out for the uh, Equinox 600 or the 800. It's the new software update 3.0. And I've had my, my uh, Equinox 800 for a little bit over a year now and I love it. It's, uh, it's, it's my go-to machine for out on the land. I don't do much water hunting with it. Some of y'all have asked what do I prefer, the AT Pro and water hunting or the Equinox. Both are great machines in the water, but for me, I want something real simple in the water, not sophisticated, something quick return. And so I just love the AT Pro for that. And I don't like putting that in the water, being digital with all the sand and all that. I just, I try to take care of this machine a little bit more. And, uh, and so, uh, but I wanted to put a little video together about this new upgrade and what this upgrade is you know the Equinox 800 uh, already comes with multiple frequencies it comes with the 5, 10, the 15, the 20 and the 40 kilohertz but this is a new frequency that they're coming out with is a 4 kilohertz so not only going to have 5 but we're going to have 6 frequencies now with a, with a 7th which is a multiple frequency a setting that we can have and this is supposed to enhance the detection of large deep targets and uh, they say on their on their email and on their website, particularly for those found in Asia, and uh, it, they're optimizing the the this new setting and everything else. And uh, it's going to be a, 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 supposed to be a better situ a situation here. And um, and all the other frequencies that are on there, uh, they're stating that it's not going to affect any of that whatsoever. So it, it's just going to be an addition, a new frequency on that. And uh, they also stated that they have various, uh, they've added some upgraded features of various uh, stability enhancements uh, being included as well. And so I thought I would just walk us through the upgrade uh, procedures. I've never done one before, so we're going through this all together. And uh, just depending upon your, your machine that, uh, that you, you know, there's certain upgrades for the Windows version and also for the Mac version. And uh, for the Windows, you got to have at least 50 megabytes of space on hard drive and 20 megabytes of RAM. And then on your Mac, it say that you have to have 10.13 uh, High Sierra or 50 megabytes of the hard drive and 30 megabytes of RAM there. And uh, so those are the, the requirements there. So let's uh, go over to the, uh, uh, the website now. And uh, here is the email that they are sending me. And so I just clicked on this download the upgrade and it brought it up to this right here on this uh, web, their, their main website page. And you can read about it right here exactly what I just stated with you. And if you have, uh, go ahead and I would suggest download this Equinox software upgrade brochure. And what it's going to look like is going to be this right here. Uh, it's going to come up and it's going to say the same thing as other pages, but it's going to give you right here once the MUU is downloaded, the op open the application and follow these instructions. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six steps that we'll go through. And uh, here on the notes, I want to remind everybody here, only one Equinox can be connected to the computer during the update. Uh, the Equinox must be on during the software update and any cust uh, cust uh, custom detector setting will be preserved while performing the update. An internet connection is required to download the MindLab update utility to the computer. However, an internet connection is not required to update the Equinox, and this can be done offline. The Equinox coil must be connected to perform the update. And important here, do not turn off or disconnect the Equinox during the update process. So we'll go back over here. Click on, if you are, have, if you are a Windows-based computer, you want to click right here. If you're an uh, update, uh, if a Mac update, you want to click right here. And once you click on that, then it's going to throw it over into a folder uh, on your computer. <coughs> Excuse me. And on mine, it came up right here. So we're going to double click on that and we're going to open this up. And, uh, and we're going to see where we go on that. It's still thinking. All right, it takes us up to that first screen right here. Now it says connect a detector 
to check for the updates. All right, so let's do that. Let's uh, let's uh, connect the Equinox and uh, let's just put that up here and let's turn it on. And we got it being turned on. There we go. Well, better hold that up. It's picking up a lot of uh, stat. Uh, let me turn my sensitivity down. Maybe that'll help. All right, that'll help out right there. We turn that sensitivity down. And so we open up an application right here and. Uh, and so we got the magnetic strip on there. We got it hooked into the computer right here. And for some reason, uh, it's not uh, finding the updates right there. Maybe it's fixing. There we go. Here we go. Now we got the next screen. It says updates are available for your detector. And uh, new software 3.13. I see I haven't done any updates already. So I'm still on the 1.75 uh, software. So we're just going to click install right there. And it's just going to take a little minute and it says do not disconnect or turn off your detector and so we're going to let that continue on going and uh, we'll just let it uh, let's go back here and we'll go right here and uh, so it's downloading right now and there's the installation progress and uh, so it's uh, pretty simple it's not very difficult you know this this is the first time I've ever updated my machine and so um, and I'm not I'm not bad on computers but I'm not really really good on computers you know either I can do some editing but I can't do all this other stuff but I just wanted to show you how simple uh, this really is and so let's just uh, put this back down since I got that sensitivity turned way down and uh, it's not making all that noise and we'll just let it keep running through its process right here we're at 75 percent and uh, we'll just let it keep on going it says the installation will take approximately one minute and that's about right that's about all it's taking is just one minute and once this update is complete, the Equinox uh, will restart. There we go. And you're going to see it flashing green right up here. And she is, she is done. Let me hold this back out of the way here. Let's make sure my, it reset my sensitivity way up there. And I don't want that sensitivity in here. But, uh, but up on the screen here, you can see it says your detector now can be disconnected. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit quit. And I'm going to go ahead and unplug my computer uh, from my computer. And I'm going to turn that off. And that is it. It's that simple. So if you haven't had a chance to get the upgrade, just go to the MindLab uh, site and just look for the download there. Download if it's Mac or, 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 or Windows. And then just follow the instructions and then once you download that open that application up and as soon as you open that up just turn your detector on plug it in and the rest of it's going to walk you right through step by step six, six simple steps takes you just a couple of minutes and hopefully i can't wait now to get out into the field and try this new frequency four kilohertz out along with the multiple is and put it in that and uh, do some testing so uh, i may make another video about testing it out in the field now so Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, short and sweet. Hopefully it helps you uh, to update your Equinox. And uh, so until we meet again, folks, I just want to say happy hunting and God bless. Get out there and update that, that uh, detector and see what you can find. All right. God bless.